Hello everyone, Craig here, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Stalker, Call of Pripyat for the PC. Now, the thing you're probably going to notice right off the bat is that the video quality for this series is not going to be up to the usual standard I'd rather be at. It's a, I've done a lot of troubleshooting, I've done a lot of work, but I cannot get the quality any better than what it currently is. I'm recording this on a PC, and then I have to move it over to my Mac, and there's converting, it's a whole pain in the ass, but bottom line, it's not going to look as good as I would hope it would. Secondly, I am playing the complete version of Call of Pripyat. That is a mod, where a small group of really dedicated people got together and completely overhauled the entire game. They changed textures, they improved AI, they, uh, they changed dialogue, or text dialogue to make it more understandable. Uh, they did a lot of stuff, and it's really impressive, so... Just going and know that this is not the original version, this is an upgraded version. And, uh, it also improves performance, allowing me to play the game with everything kind of cranked up. With the exception of lighting. Lighting has to be static, because on my PC, any type of dynamic lighting doesn't allow things to spawn. So people and animals would not be around. And that's a pretty boring game. So let's jump right in. As a disclaimer, I do have some experience with this game. I have never played any of the other games in the Stalker series, but when this game first came out, which was about a year ago, I played it for maybe two and a half hours, but that was on a crappy PC that ran it terribly, so I gave up, because it was too frustrating to try and play. And, uh, I've actually already recorded a Let's Play here, but the footage was really bad, so I have to redo it. So I got about an hour in, and, uh... Yeah, nothing went smooth. A lot of troubleshooting getting this to work. Anyway, let's start the opening cutscene. At 0123, on April 26, 1986, the reactor of Power Block 4 of Chernobyl NPP is destroyed following a series of thermal explosions. That's not good. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe, and Scandinavia, eventually reaching America. All right. The consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30-kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Would you really need to tell people to stay away from a radiated zone? Despite Seriously. the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station, as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a network of secret laboratories in the exclusion zone. Call Gordon June Freeman. 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, a peal of thunder shakes the ground. Four had arrived. Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. Well, that sucks. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy, with survivors telling stories of mutated animals with incredible abilities roaming the area. Like Snooky and her ability to fuck anything that wanders into her vision. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and three hundred unknown individuals. They call themselves Homeless. stalkers and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts, which they sell for considerable sums of money. 2011. Despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. Mm -hmm. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. The few attempts to penetrate deeper into the zone have all ended in failure. 2012, a stalker called Straylock solves the secret of the Brain Scorcher, a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. After the Brain Scorcher is disabled, 
all stalkers rush for the center of the zone. Some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts. Others in search of the Wish Granter. Wish Granter sounds like something out of Mordor. It doesn't sound like something out of Chernobyl, exactly. The government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters fella. to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Bravo team, respond. Major Dektyrev, a USS special team. agent, is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopters. Disguised as a stalker, equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks' worth of supplies, and a radio to communicate with HQ, the Major begins his journey towards the center of the zone. I feel like for that opening cutscene, the audio is actually ahead of the video, but whatever. So here is Stalker, everyone. This game is really interesting and really ambitious. Uh, if the game freezes like that, uh, that is because the game is just loading in something. It's a big open world. You gotta eat, you gotta sleep. Uh, you can't take a lot of hits before you die, so you do have to... Uh, Bandage yourself up to stop bleeding, and always gotta mind your medical supplies. This game is pretty big. It's not an RPG. You don't level up from killing stuff or anything like that. You just collect better equipment. So here's some stalkers. I'm gonna pull my gun. Away, I put away man. my gun. Calm down. I won't talk to you otherwise. So hey man, what's uh? His name is Cripple. Okay. So, nearest camp is a boat. Alrighty. I have a question for you. Know anything about some crashed helicopters? <sighs> it lands on a plateau in the south of Zaton. Actually, I heard Noah from the Psycho Barge might know. That's great. I can't wait to go there. You can trade with pretty much any NPC. This guy doesn't have much on him, it seems, but, uh... Hey, man. You look like you got pretty good equipment, and... You're a cripple, so you probably don't need this equipment, right? Like, I think I could be better suited for it, so... Whoa, hey. Let's calm down, everyone. Let's just calm down. But, uh, could you look down the barrel of this gun for me? Yeah. That's how I do. So, let's see. We got a sawed-off here. Got an AK. And take all. When you loot people, you do get a small amount of money each time you loot. That is, again, an addition from the mod that was not in the original game. It, I can't tell you how much better this game looks and runs with this mod. I highly recommend you download it if you have any interest in playing Stalker. I'll put a link in the description. Ah, grass. Ah. Let's head to the boat, which is the first safe zone. Oh, just to give you an idea of how big this world is, from what I've heard, this is one... And Oh, sorry, I'm stupid. This is just, like, this is one big map. It's, it's ridiculously massive. And when you're checking your PDA, yeah, you're not safe. You can totally be attacked. This game is basically based on somewhat realistic factors. Light. Listen up. Sultan wants to see you. Oh, that's nice. I'll get to him in a second. So, uh, what you got over here? Hey, you got some bread? Stalkers. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm gonna take that bread, though. You, you don't seem to be eating it. Does anyone have vodka? You do have vodka. Good hunting. Vodka. Vodka. Anything else? Oh, I've got a ration. Sweet. Oh, can I have that sausage? Can I have can I have that sausage? Can can I have that sausage? No. Well, darn it. Oop. Got an energy drink over here. It was all nice. All right, let's talk to this guy. Listen up. The yeah, Sultan I know. wants to see you. Sultan, where's Aladdin? What kind of job can you offer me, Sultan? The money-making kind. Well, that just seems <laughs> suspicious. But uh, yeah, what do you what job are you offering? Shake down a few of Beard's 
Stalkers. There is a guy in this game whose name is Beard. It's a real cinch. Late at night, you and your guys come up to Savchenko. Sev yeah, that's Savchenko. And before these terrorists figure out what's going on, you take them for a ride. Like this is Marvel vs. Capcom. We get dough, you get the props. Catch them adrift. Alrighty then, see Knuckles standing over there. Alright. See your Knuckles, huh? If you manage to uh, stay in one piece, where's Sonic least. and Tails? Where's Biggs the Cat? He was always my favorite. Okay, I'll deal with him in a second. Let me see what other jobs people got around here. Do you have any jobs? Nope. I'm not gonna talk to him. Hey, Mark, man. Hey, whoa. What's the job? I hit some loot in the car, but then an earthquake hit and the car fell underground. I checked it out and the car seems to be with seems to be within reach, but uh there's mutants down there, you know, snorks. Yeah, I've seen them, they're creepy. Believe it or not, I ain't even scared of controllers, which I've never seen. Uh but those damn stores too creepy and disgusting for me. If you get a hold of that container with the security lock, we'll split the loot fair and square. Sure. Why not? Privet, bro. Anything else I wanna worry about? Welcome aboard our swamp icebreaker. Okay. Uh, hey, I'm gonna be a good guy here. I'm gonna warn him about the attack that Sultan over there wants to do. So, hey, a guy wants to attack the stalkers. We got bandits multiplying like rabbits, and now we're fighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, man, I got an offer to attack the camp near Sepchenko at night. Assholes! It would actually be nice if you took up on their offer. See what I'm getting at? No. That way, I can tip my boys off so they prepare a warm welcome for our quote-unquote guests. See, he's being insulting there. He doesn't actually see them as guests. He wants me to kill them. So, all right, sure. I will be glad to do it. Meanwhile, I won't take any more jobs from you. Oh, I forgot to talk to this guy. Sausage man. Hasn't even taken a bite of that sausage. So what kind of job can you offer me? Several stalkers have gone missing. No one has heard anything about them, but the other day a body was found. No signs of violence. Just bled completely dry. So it's got to be bloodsuckers, which they just sound... Lovely. He went off to search for the lair, haven't seen him since. So what do I need to do? Find the lair and hopefully track down Daniel. Da. How do you pronounce that? It's not pretty, but I'll make it worth your while. Sure. Hey, let me hey buddy. I will go and fight all these bloodsuckers, but you gotta promise me that I can have some of that sausage. Okay? That's the deal. I just need some of that sausage. Let us do things. Uh, no, how do I... Right, I have to talk to Knuckles to start the nighttime mission. You're planning to flee stalkers. Count me in, man. Uh, gotta wait till midnight. I'll stay with you. We'll wait for midnight and then show me the way. Let's do it. Let's do this, bro. Where am I? What's going on? Okay. Got four guys. Four guys. I have to take out these four guys. First of all, if on the right-hand side there, you see a little uh, fork and spoon with a red around it. That means I'm hungry. I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to start off and have a little piece of bread. Yum, yum, yum. And uh, hey, man. Let's roll. You give it to him, boy. Hey, what's going, going on? To quick save. Take a chill pill, man. We'll take them easy. Oh my fucking god, that could have gone better! Jesus! Okay, two down. Two down. Two confirmed kills. Still alive? Did I get him? Did I get him? Nope. Bitch. Uh, I didn't... I don't remember hitting that guy. Oh, he's alive! Now he's not. 